Hey guys, today I have a review for you of Hunger by Newt Hampson, which was the January book for the International Reads Book Club. Um, I just finished this last night and I'm still thinking about it a lot. I gave it three out of five stars on Goodreads. Um, and there's a lot that happens in this book. I guess I'll just give a short synopsis. So. Hunger is about a man whose name we never know in um, living in Christiania or now known as Oslo in Norway. And he's working as a writer and is literally a starving artist. He is hungry all the time. And um, the, the book chronicles, uh, well... It's written in four parts, and each part is a new cycle of kind of reprieve from this hunger and then, you know, him not having any money to buy food or not having any way to feed himself nor a place to stay. And so kind of um, spiraling back down into the depths of his mind and how it's ravished by hunger and and he becomes and, and his craziness basically um I don't know the question in my mind was always is he hungry because he's crazy or is he crazy because he's hungry I don't know it's unclear um so there are lots of interesting that well uh there's a lot that happens in this book as I said it's in four parts um, at the beginning of each part, he's he's a little bit okay because he's just gotten some money or somebody's given him something or he's found a place to stay for a little bit. But then he goes, he's extremely generous. And I don't know if this is part of his uh, insanity or what, but he keep, he has a way of thinking like that person is worse off than I am, even though he may, be, may have just been talking about, you know, how how he like can't walk standing straight because he's so hungry and it hurts to stand up straight. So, um, and, and he'll see this other person who he thinks is worse off than him and he'll just give away whatever he can. Like at one point at the very beginning of the book, he goes and pawns this vest that he has in order to be able to give a crippled guy 10, 10 or or 10 krona. I don't remember. Um, but to give him some money or something like that. Um, so, yeah, the book is really an exploration of uh, the mind and the crazy things that your brain does to you. Um, in the introduction of this book, uh, it, it, it ends by saying, let's see if I can find it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the end of this book, sa uh, of the introduction says, if in addition the reader should recognize with a shudder of delight or horror some of the hero's strange proclivities in his or her own soul, the labor of making this new translation of Hampson's breakthrough novel will have been richly rewarded. And I don't know about any of you guys, but there were definitely some points where I was like, oh yeah, I think that way sometimes. That's weird. Um, but also kind of reassuring to know that maybe other people also are weird like me. I don't know. Um, yeah, it would be interesting to see if other people felt the same way. Um, <clears throat> there were a few things in this book that um, I, I didn't pick up on until I reread the introduction. Um, those were the way that um, the narrator talks about God. He obviously doesn't believe in God, but God is so, or, or um, religion, I guess, is so present in the streets of Christiania. Like, all of the big institutions are connected with um, Jesus. Like, there's Our Savior's, ca like, cathedral, and the clock, it has to do with Jesus. And then there are certain, there are, like, images of, of Jesus in rooms throughout uh, the places that he goes that kind of connect to the way that he's thinking or what he's seeing, and that's also unsettling. So that was interesting. Um, what else? Um, I liked the way that it ended, I will say. I, I don't know if I should tell you. I don't feel like I would be spoiling anything. Maybe. I don't know. Um, 
if you don't want to know how it ended, stop watching here. Yeah, so I really enjoyed the fact that um, he just, like, kind of takes off on this boat at the end, and it gives you a sense of hope, but it also, I mean, it leaves you hanging. You don't know what's going to happen to our writer here or what's, if he's going to make it or not, but I, as an optimist, sort of tend to think that he gets out and is able to, like, at least feed himself and take shelter for a little while, um, but who knows, maybe he, likes shipwrecks somewhere. No idea. Um, anyway, so... This is an interesting book to read. It is an interesting book to read with lots of um, external support, I think. I, I intend to do a lot more research about this book, and um, the introduction really helped me understand it better. So if you read it on its own, I don't know, you might not enjoy it as much, but um, it's a good book. It's an interesting read. Um, I think... This is, I, I did a little bit of research on Mr. Hampson himself before I actually started reading the book and would like to continue doing so because it sounds like he had a really interesting life. He was kind of like a vagrant for a while. And um, at the end of his life, he was a Nazi sympathizer. So I would like to know more about why that happened. And um, yeah, yeah. Uh, what else did I like about this book? I really like the cover of this book. You have this excellent um, Edward Edvard Munch painting. It's called Fear. It's one of my favorites. And everyone just looks so emaciated and terrifying. Like, look at this girl. She looks like the Joker. Weird. I love it. Um, anyway, yeah. So that's what I thought of this book. I'm looking forward to seeing what other people thought in the International Reads Book Club. If you're not in the International Reads Book Club and have read this book, I would like to hear your opinion also. Um, yeah. Let me know.